What's going on guys? It's Greg here, aka New York Prepper. In this video, I want to review a holster that I recently picked up for my Glock 20 Gen 4 10mm auto pistol. And this is a Kraft Holsters Panther holster. And Kraft Holsters is actually a sponsor of this channel. And I have a promo code that you guys can use to get 10% off of any of their holsters on their website and that promo code is NYPREPPER10 and their website is www.craftholsters.com they have a wide variety of holsters they have leather holsters they have kydex holsters they have concealed carry bags they have everything you could imagine they also have pouches for speed loaders and magazines they have belts as well so check them out and use my promo code NYPREPPER10 to get 10% off of any of their holsters, including this one right here. So I recently picked up this Glock 20 10mm. I really like the 10mm auto cartridge. I believe it's the best semi-auto pistol cartridge for a wide variety of uses from home defense to conceal carry to woods defense, to SHTF. The 10 millimeter auto has vastly superior terminal performance over nine millimeter, 40 Smith & Wesson and 45 ACP. It does have a little bit more recoil than a standard service caliber pistol, but if you can tolerate the recoil, it's much more powerful, has much better penetration, much better expansion, and for me personally, I like to spend a lot of time in the woods and here in rural Pennsylvania, we have a lot of black bears. Some of them get over 600 pounds. I usually carry my 44 Magnum or my 500 Magnum, but I also like a 10 millimeter occasionally. And the 10 millimeter, the good thing about it is that it basically has the same energy level as a 357 Magnum but it's in a semi-automatic platform and you can use a high capacity magazine. Here I have this SGM Tactical 30 round magazine, guys. 30 rounds of 10 millimeter, that is just absolutely insane. I can unload 30 rounds without having to reload and if we're in a situation where I have a 600 pound black bear that I have to deal with, having 30 rounds of 10 millimeter will definitely make me feel very safe. So this is a pancake style holster. It has an FBI cant and it's made for EDC. The good thing about an FBI cant is that it conceals a little bit better than a standard vertical outside the waistband holster. And it's also a little bit better when you're getting in and out of vehicles. It is a pancake style. So that makes it very easy to draw. There's no snap retention. There's no thumb break. You just pull it right out and you're ready to engage or you're ready to shoot. I personally like this holster for range use and short day hikes in bear country. You could also conceal carry in the winter time with a coat or a long sleeve shirt. I wanna just show you guys up close the quality of this holster here, it has really thick leather. Look at that guys, look how thick that leather is. It looks like it's almost a quarter of an inch thick. Just really heavy duty leather and it just fits like a glove. Just beautiful leather, look at this guys. And for those of you guys who don't know, Kraft Holsters is based out of Eastern Europe in Slovakia, but they source their leather from various places around Europe. As you see, this one is made in Italy. They have craftsmen all over Europe and, um, you know, Europeans definitely have some of the best leather craftsmen. And I uh, just want to show you guys my Glock 20 here. I'll just pull it out of the holster so you guys can see. It's just the standard Glock 20 Gen 4. I still have to put night sights on it because it's brand new. But I put these Hogue grips on it, which I really love Hogue grips. I have Hogue grips on my 44 Magnum, my 500 Magnum, and uh, also on my bolt action rifles, my elephant gun, and one of my 300 Win Mags. 
I absolutely love Hogue products. So I figured I would put it on here. I, I don't like the factory uh, Glock grip. It's just too slippery and it just feels weird. And this uh, Hogue sleeve is like 20 bucks. It just slips right over. But this is that SGM Tactical 30 round magazine. Just absolutely awesome. Okay, and um, I want to just show you guys up close the inside of the holster. It's just perfectly uh, molded and really heavy duty construction, double stitched over here in critical areas. Okay, and the way that they make it is they make it so it rides close to the body. As you can see, it, it kind of has this, this kind of flex to it, this bend here, and it just naturally sits on your hip very well. And just look at that beautiful craftsmanship. You can also get some custom um, stamping on this if you want for extra money. But this is only $59, this holster. So for general purpose use, I think it's a great holster for the money. It's only $59. And if you use the promo code NYPREPPER10, 10% 10 off of that already low price, okay? And um, they don't make these particular holsters for light bearing pistols, okay? So if you have a light bearing pistol, you'll have to check out some of their other options. But just for a standard pistol with no light on it, it's just a great general purpose holster. It just goes in and out really smooth. Check this out, guys. Just fits like a glove, easy to draw out. I mean, it's just gorgeous. Um, you know, I've never really been a big fan of pancake holsters because there's no retention. So if you're moving around, your gun could fall out. But for range use or short day hikes where I'm not going to be rolling around on the ground or sprinting or doing anything crazy like that, um, I think this is excellent. And it holds the pistol nice and snug. Okay, it takes a good amount of force to get it out. It's not loose or anything. It, it's pretty snug, you know. You have to kind of apply a little bit of force to get it out, so it's nice. Um, so... Check it out, guys, craftholsters.com. Use my promo code NYPREPPER10 to get 10% off of this holster or any other holster on their website. And this is the Panther holster. Right now, it's only $59. And stay tuned, and I'll show you guys how this thing actually looks on me and how it draws and how it functions. So stay tuned. All right, guys, I just want to demonstrate this holster for you. So I'm going to do a couple of draws for you. As you can see it, it's pretty smooth. All right, guys, so I got the 30 round clip in right now, but if I had a standard clip in there, it would really just conceal very easily. So I'm actually going to switch out the clip, put the 15 round clip in. This gun is unloaded right now, but as you can see with the standard clip, it just fits really well. Look at that. I can basically conceal this with just a t-shirt almost. It prints a little bit, but if I had a jacket on, you wouldn't even know that I have it. So that's the advantage of an FBI carry. It cants a little bit forward, so it hides that magwell a little bit. And it's a little bit more comfortable when you're getting in and out of a vehicle because you have that cant there. So it helps with sitting down when you're when you're sitting down, you can still have access to your firearm. So I'll just demonstrate that quickly for you guys. All right, guys, just want to demonstrate to you sitting down with the FBI carry with the Craft Holsters Panther Pancake Holster. You can see it's very comfortable to sit down with the FBI cant because it's canted a little bit. So 
it doesn't dig into your uh, rib cage okay it's canted just a little bit so when you sit down you can see that it's not digging r straight up into my rib cage here it's canted a little bit back so you can sit down you can get in and out of a vehicle really easily and that's one of the reasons why the FBI decided to create the FBI cant was because you know police officers FBI agents detectives they have to get in and out of vehicles a lot they sit down in an office they have a chair you know they're behind the desk they go in and out of their desk they go into the field so they don't want to have to have a, a holster that's only good for one thing um, they want something that you know if you're getting in and out of a vehicle or or in and out of a chair you know you still have access to your weapon and so to draw out the pistol while you're sitting down with this holster or any FBI canted holster all you do is just reach back, feel the grip. You lean a little bit to the opposite side. Okay, you're gonna just lean your torso the other way to make room for your draw. Make sure your finger is away from the trigger, especially on a Glock, because there's no safety. So you're gonna just lean a little bit. You're just gonna pull it right out. And then you're just gonna present the pistol to your target, okay? That's pretty much it guys. I hope you enjoyed this review. I'll be doing a lot more reviews like this one. Stay tuned to my channel for more Glock 20 10mm content including penetration tests, ballistics tests, and gear reviews. Thanks for watching. Take care. God bless. And don't forget the three P's. Prepare, practice, and persevere.